What's going on, y'all? Thanks for checking in the Cali's Take. You know what to do. Hit that like, subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell just so you can get the newest and the bonus content first. But hey, let's just go ahead and jump right in. Looks like the Clippers are starting their preseason off going against the Portland Trailblazers. And, you know, the question I have is, I wonder if, you know, Kawhi Leonard's actually going to play in the preseason game. I wonder if he's going to play any preseason games and, you know, before the season starts or they're just going to keep having them, you know, uh, work, you know, basically, you know, just do practice with the team, the five on five drills, you know, keep being very precautious with, with Kawhi Leonard. And either way, it's fine with me because, you know, if he does play in the preseason, to me, that's actually a good thing because it's actually going to get his reps up more. It's actually going to get his rhythm back a little bit more quicker. And I always say it's nothing like playing in a real game because in a real game, you see where you are. You see where your, your game is. You see where, you know, what you need to improve on and you see what, you know, you need to, you know, get better at going forward in the season. And, you know, regardless of, you know, Kawhi looking good in practice, and workouts and things like that he still has to get acclimated and you know get get a feel for a real game again because it's been almost a year or it's been a while since you know Kawhi has played a, a real game you know uh, a real uh NBA exhibition game so I mean I'm not sure if he's gonna play any preseason games but um I think it's the goal and the plan for him to at least play maybe one or two, especially since, you know, he's going to be, you know, supposedly ready for open opening night against the Lakers. Um, so I think, you know, him getting his rhythm and everything uh, or trying to get his rhythm back would be better if he did play a preseason game or two. I don't know if he's going to play against Portland, um, you know, tonight or whatever. But even still, like I said, you know, this team, you know, they, they need to just – Go through the motions, you know, figure each other out, get each other's, um, you know, you know, um, tendencies down packed, get the spacing right, you know, get get things, you know, look at things in preseason that they can fix going forward, that they see that could be wrong and, you know, put it all together and, you know, go through the season and see where it takes them. Now, me personally, um, I, I've, I remember reading that they were still going to be precautious with Kawhi and stuff like that um, just because of the injury and just because of, you know, the magnitude of the type of player he is and the type of effect he has on the team. And, you know, I definitely agree with that personally. So, I mean, don't be surprised if you don't see Kawhi play um, any preseason games, you know, or maybe besides one preseason game. Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if he doesn't play any, you know, because like I said, they're still being precautious with Kawhi because they feel like it's the right thing to do because it is, you know, ACL injury and you know, you want him to be right in the regular season as much as possible and you want uh, him to be definitely there and available when the playoffs and stuff starts. So, you know, with that being said, you know, I I wouldn't be surprised if you see him. I wouldn't be surprised if you don't. You know, and that's the attitude you got to kind of have if you're expecting to see Kawhi Leonard out there in a preseason game. Or, you know, in some people's eyes, the preseason games are very meaningless. I mean, hell, some people's eyes, the, the regular season games, a lot of those games are meaningless to some people. So, I mean, you know, it, it all depends how you look at it. But either way, um, you know, as I said before, I think if he did play in the preseason, just getting the feel and the reps for a real game, you know, a real exhibition game is is, is definitely feasible for, for Kawhi Leonard. Since it's been a year since he's been off and it's been a while since you've you've heard from him in regards to, you know, him being on the court, playing a real actual game. And as I said, you know, no better way to get your rhythm than to play a real exhibition game in I'll say this, you know, if he wants to, you know, go out there and play a preseason game and get his rhythm going, I think the Clippers should let him go. I think the Clippers should take the chain all around his neck and cut it loose and let Kawhi Leonard be Kawhi because, honestly, you know, him getting his rhythm a lot quicker is definitely going to better, you know, the Clippers' chances of being a better team in the regular season so they can, you know, um, build that chemistry 
you know, get acclimated with everybody and everybody be on the same page. Because, you know, as I said before, Kawhi hasn't played with a lot of people that they have on the Clippers now. He hasn't played with a lot of them, you know, and he hasn't really got, you know, the feel for certain players. And honestly, certain players haven't gotten the feel for him. So, I mean, you know, even if he plays regular season or not, he still will get rhythm with the team. He still will be, you know, Kawhi Leonard. He still will play, you know, at a high level at some point because of the great player he is it's just that you know when you're trying to you know build a a championship roster or become a championship team you know in the process everything has to click and the only way for that to happen is for everybody to be available and you know i've seen Kawhi play preseason games to get his you know his, his his rhythm back and everything but i'm not sure if that's the case in this situation, because the Clippers really don't need him to play preseason games, they don't really, you know, feel like that's uh, I don't feel like they would think that's an important thing for him to do. Uh, if they do feel that way, I, I, you know, I respect it either way. Um, me personally, I would love to see him out there against Portland tonight, um, because I just want to see, you know, I just want to see where he is. You know, even if he played like five minutes in the game, it doesn't matter. Him getting a rhythm, him getting, you know, the NBA. Uh, you know, um, spirit back of being on the floor is exactly what I want to see. And even if he plays five minutes or so, like I said, that that's getting his rhythm. That's 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 him. You'll see him probably get tired in the game. You know, be winded because he hasn't played in so long. But that's okay. You want him to go through those things again because you know him. If he goes out there and plays against the, you know. The, the the trailblazers tonight and gets out there and you know it gets winded and gets tired and you know he has to sit down it's okay it's all cool it's all part of those growing pains of going through the motions of playing a real game again and that's the only way he's going to get his win back his second win that he's used to having you know when he plays in the nba games and going through the motions of the season so um i would personally like to see him out there in all these preseason games if Kawhi leonard is ready to go and if they say it's okay for him to do that which i believe it is now um but if i don't see him that's fine i'm just gonna wait until the regular season to catch him and see what he looks like because like i said they still have to be precautious with him they're still going to be precautious so you have to expect that and you have to understand it at the same time so either way we're going to get Kawhi Leonard on the floor but um don't be surprised you don't see him in preseason because you know there's plenty of time in the regular season to watch him you know turn to the player that he was before and maybe be even better than what he was before But hey, that's my take on everything. Leave any comments in the comment section. Check my other videos if you haven't. And hey, Callie out.